Hi, this is Mike from Gitter, and I'm here to talk about the activity stream. For those of you who don't know, in Gitter you can integrate any room with various services. For example, if I click here on integrations, you can see we've got uh, a couple of repositories on GitHub that are integrated to our room here, as well as Jenkins. And so anytime an event happens in any one of those systems, we'll get these um, sort of activity items or the webhook events effectively inside the chat room. Now this is fine for us, we're a small team um, and the ratio of chat to activity is fairly reasonable so it all you know flows fairly nicely um, for the best part. However we've seen some other people who have a huge much, much bigger teams, a lot more activity um, so here, for example, a good friend of ours who, wrote, who writes Octonode, this is his new project, Alpaca, um, and here you can see there's basically just, you know, a bunch of people watching his project. It, it was released today, so, you know, that explains a, a huge amount of activity. Or if you come over to the guys at uh, Adobe Brackets, um, you know, there's a, a much more active GitHub repository than there is the chat. And we've got all of this stuff, and I've got to scroll up and up and up and up and up. And then the, you get these huge commits where there's just multiple lines in the um, in, in, in the webhook, effectively. And, you know, eventually, ah, there you go, there's, there's, there's some actual chatting. So this is a prototype of a few ways of dealing with this. Um, these are different options we can explore, and so I thought I'd just basically put it out there and get some feedback. So the first thing to have a look at here is the activity feed toggle, um, which is this icon up here in the header. And I mean, it's pretty simple. It's green, so activity feed is shown in the chat at the moment. And I click it, and they collapse, and they're all gone. And so now there's obviously you know, just chats in this view, and you can toggle it back on and off. Um, so that would seem to work quite nicely. We would just need to think about whether or not this is on a per room level, or if it's sort of global for all of your rooms. So if I went and visited, you know, this Gitter test room over here, uh, would I expect that toggle to persist um, across all of my rooms, or is it on a per room basis? So it would be interesting to, to kind of get your feedback on that. The second thing to look at is what you see here is four commits. Now, ordinarily, this would show four different lines of the commits. And what we've done is we've collapsed that. And so when I click on it, it can expand. And then I can go to each of the individual commits uh, and click on them. And they'll, they'll open up in a new tab. Um, so that seems fairly obvious. The final thing to look at um, is on the right-hand side, where we basically have the activity stream underneath the roster of people. Um, this is just on, on my local machine, so normally you would see you know, much more people um, in that roster. And here you can basically see a summary of activity that's happened. Um, this is all sort of fictitious. Most of it's actually just copied from um, the Adobe Brackets activity. And um, that will basically allow you to you know, see exactly the same thing, but in a more compacted view, and again, for example, here I can click to expand and I can see, you know, individual uh, commits in that particular message and then collapse it back up again. Um, so be kind of interested to know if the fact that that's being duplicated is a problem or if that's useful. There's an argument that having it in the chat stream is quite useful because you can see the activity on the same sort of axis of time as the conversation and there might be um, items of activity that are related to what you're talking about right now um, or you know it might be completely redundant and we would just look to keep it in the right or just look to keep it in the chat view um, so yeah I'd be interested to get your feedback uh, you're more than welcome to join us in our um, Gitter HQ slash Gitter chat, and there we can, you know, just chat about this and see what you think. All right, look forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks.